Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran, and recently I missed a story where Ian Hesikosis himself confirmed that patch 8.3.5 is not going to be a thing. Now, with this statement alone, there's a lot of implications of where battle for Azeroth is. If the expansion is in a good position or a bad position, what does that mean for future expansions like Shadowlands? And could Shadowlands potentially drop earlier with this news or maybe way, way, way later? And we're looking for a really long patch cycle. I just want to put my thoughts, explain you what's going on, why people were upset or concerned or what this could imply, just to make sure you guys are in the know, and then just put my thoughts into a video. This video is not meant to be a long video, but I'll try to get every one of my thoughts in on it. We'll see how long that lasts. So let's establish what is going on and why people are kind of sort of freaking out about patch 8.3.5 not being a thing. Ian Hazelkostas had an interview with a gaming magazine and in the game magazine, there were a couple different quotes of some of the questions that he was answering and asking. I, like many other people, did not read the Millennium interview, which is the gaming website. I went in to look at the interesting bits, the questions and the answers that Ian had for specific parts of either the current patch or the future WoW expansions. One of the questions, amongst many, like uh, essences being account-wide and stuff, uh, Ian asked, and one of the questions was about patch 835. What is the hypothetical patch 8.35 and what is planned for the release of 8.35? Ian didn't even beat around the bush. He just decided to answer the question as soon as it was asked. He said, then quoting, First of all, just to get it out of the way, we currently don't have any 8.3.5 plans. There may be small system tweaks or updates for stability between now and Shadowlands, but Visions of Nazoth is really the concluding chapter of Battle for Azeroth, and we're excited to focus our attention on Shadowlands and the upcoming beta for Shadowlands that will be opening up through the course of the year. Now, there's two ways of looking at what Blizzard means with no 835. It either means that this expansion was very similar to Warlords of Draenor. It was a failure, they're trying to abandon it so they can work for the next expansion. Warlords of Draenor or WAD saw a very, very similar situation where Blizzard just abandoned it. They just stopped working on it. There was some content for the raiders or somebody who likes doing Apexis crystal farms or was maybe trying to grind for a mount or something. But past that, that was it. There wasn't a lot to do. There was a long, long drought before we saw Legion. And it turns out Blizzard was all hands all deck on Legion, working on the Legion, nothing but Legion. This is why Legion came out to be in a much better state than Warlords of Draenor did. So maybe it would be a we have a very similar situation. They're just trying to get their hands off of BFA and onto Shadowlands to really start crafting and sculpting it. Or maybe Blizzard literally does mean what they say in this interview. You know, of course, maybe one thing could be like, you know, just just, just an act just to make sure the investors are fine and the people that play World of Warcraft don't feel like there's an issue, but maybe there is a background issue. But what if we were to take them at face value saying that 8.3 has everything it needs? It has enough story, it has enough everything, and they're trying to work on Shadowlands, but 8.3 does not need 8.3.5. All the patch stuff, all the updates that would have happened in 8.3.5 are already there and present for 8.3. And I'm kind of leaning towards the second one, the one that says, hey, 8.3 is in a good condition, it's going to be just fine, we won't need 8.3.5 because everything is already there. Mostly because this expansion doesn't feel like WAD. It doesn't feel like it's getting heavy dropped off. It feels like it's, if anything, more like a soft drop. They put way too many complicated mechanics into patch 8.3, from corruption gear to horrific visions to cloaks and how that interacts together. Why would Blizzard put all these complicated mechanics and systems uh, that interact together in a very complicated ways? I mean, imagine trying to explain to somebody who's just trying to join patch 8.3 all the different mechanics to watch out for and systems to play with and how they all interact with each other I mean, it just sounds like a headache. But it's a headache that a lot of us will have plenty of time to explore, or at least I guess that would be the hopes. Also, Blizzard added a Season 4 seasonal affix. If they really wanted just to get rid of this expansion, they could have just done Reaping again, because majority of people liked Reaping. It was easier. They probably wouldn't have added Mechagon as a dungeon. They probably wouldn't have been doing nearly as many raid tests for Nailotha. And there was a lot of raid tests for just about every single phase, every single part of every single boss fight that people got to check out even though some of it was buggy it still felt like a lot like we know the blizzard wanted to take their hands off of shadow uh of a bfa and start working shadowlands when we saw the patch 8.3 stuff 
we saw that they were gonna be reusing Ultimate Veil vale instead of making a brand new zone like they did in WAD. So we knew that, okay, they want to start working on Shadowlands ASAP. But they did put a bunch of stuff for us to do in the Veil vale and Ultimate. They added Horrific Visions, which, you know, looks just like Stormin and Argomar, so it's a reuse, but the content is actually, like, very well thought through. But whoever thought about planning the fights and planning the mechanics, like, it's actually very enjoyable to play. So it feels like it doesn't get dropped off just kind of willy-nilly out of nowhere. It seems that they kind of planned to eventually just kind of put the patch in a state where it can self-sustain with the content they built for it, utilizing some of the reused assets and reused zones, and just let us kind of play with it hoping that it will last long enough for them to start working on the new expansion. But whether you're in either camp, whether you're someone who's looking positively on this thing or negatively, we can all agree. I'm glad that Blizzard is spending more time working on Shadowlands. We know that Shadowlands needs to be a really, really good expansion because BFA came out a little bit rough, a little bit undercooked. It got better, much better. I think about patch 8.2 is when it got really, really cool and really exciting to play. But... I feel like they need to have a much stronger start for the future expansion. Shadowlands looks like a really dope idea, really sick idea. So many cool new systems are being added, so many cool new mechanics, and I'm very excited about it. And I'd rather have Blizzard nail Shadowlands right. From the leveling to the, I guess, the leveling experience pre-Shadowlands and post-Shadowlands to all the bug fixes, that'll be very good. Class Fantasy to come back and all the abilities to come back and uh, how they're going to be doing the level squish. That'll be very interesting to see how that functions and how that works with different gear. I'd rather may I'd rather like it for Blizzard to spend the rest of the time working on Shadowlands. And a lot of us can agree on that. Now, do we need a patch 8.3.5? I'm not someone who knows a lot about games and patch games, but couldn't Blizzard do everything that they wanted to with 8.3.5 through hotfixes? I don't think Blizzard is planning for to add more allied races. So allied races or heritage armor would have been added in patch 8.3.5, but pretty sure they would want majority of their art team and art assets to be used on Shadowlands right now. But if let's say they wanted to add some sort of extra storyline into patch 8.3, maybe something to lead you to, I don't know, have the player look for uh, traces of Sylvanas to find out where she's going, and then eventually it'll be like a long... I don't know, uh, six to eight week quest line that you can do once a week that eventually kind of does hint at Shadowlands. It does take you near ICC. Couldn't Blizzard do something like that through hotfixes rather than a full-blown patch? Again, I have very little experience in the game stuff in patching. Maybe a patch would have been necessary just to make something like that happen. But I think there's a bunch of different things that they could do simply through hotfixes where they essentially don't need a patch 8.3.5. Like if they have all the storyboards written and all the cinematics in the game already, like somewhere locked in the game files for like all the end game stuff, like that, that could be the end of the expansion, right? They don't, if they already have it done, they don't need to add anything to kind of wrap up the story. If they already have the story wrapped up, it's just hidden for us until we defeat Nazath or something rather. Although an interesting idea was floating around. Someone said, what if instead of patch 8.3.5, we get Shadowlands pre-patch? A little bit early <laughs> like a uh, three months before Shadowlands launches Blizzard announces a pre-patch just to make sure all the system works properly and people can get used to you know the leveling systems and all that stuff or maybe like two months ahead of Shadowlands because normally pre-patch comes out like a month if not two before the release of an expansion so what if instead of patch 8.3.5 we get Shadowlands pre-patch early and I actually would love it just to go and level through Shadowlands systems and try all this stuff out, you know, get a character to level 50, which will be the new max level until Shadowlands unlocks itself. I think that'll be really cool to play with all the different class abilities and how all that fits in the meta, and uh, I think that'll be very fun and exciting. But it is not a guarantee. We don't even know when Shadowlands is going to be coming out. Some people are saying that it's most likely going to be, you know, maybe August, fall middle of fall some people are saying it's going to be all the way in december some people say november i don't know i don't think blizzard is going to go for a year worth of drought of content that'll be weird if they did I, that'll be very very weird if blizzard decided oh you know we're gonna be working on challenge for a whole year but i guess if that makes for a better expansion i guess i'll be okay with it it just means that It'll be very difficult to make it videos on the channel if we literally have to play with everything 8.3 is going to have for an entire year. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up before this video is too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see all of you in another video.